All right, guys, before we start this podcast, we ask you to do one thing. Go to your streaming platform that you listen to music on and listen to Drunk I Am. It is officially out now. Again, just type in Drunk I Am. Look for You Betcha Guy. Look for Fillmore. Play it up and then come back to the podcast. Listen to the podcast. It would mean a lot to us if you download it and listen to it and hopefully you enjoy it as well. So let's get into the episode. Three, two, one. Boosh. Oh my God. God, that's cold. Yep. Hello. Welcome back to You Bet Your Radio Podcast presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. We are live here we in the... are live. Oh, Escalade Jackson Memorial Studio. I am all hopped up on essential oils. <laughs> you got about 30 of them I am you. so high on essential oils right now. I'm getting a little loopy, starting to not be able to feel my fingers and toes. But I think it's working. I well, think yeah, that you, means it's working. Mm-hmm. You picked lavender. That was going to put you right to sleep. Oh, it's doing the opposite. <laughs> Energizing. You weren't. You, you guys weren't in here, but I was literally just dumping the <laughs> oil down my nostrils. You know, like all the add-ons you can get at like Tropical Smoothie Cafe or whatever. Uh-huh. They should have that for essential oil diffusers, like yeah. like oh, yeah. like tea boosters. We talked about that. Yeah, they should have a tea, tea booster, booster in the yeah. diffuser. essential oil. Maybe that, get, maybe that could, well, then we could set it on Tyler's desk. <laughs> yeah. I think if I have any more tea, I'm gonna be. I just. I'm gonna be bricked up for it. You're gonna be if teed they, up. If they put tea in there, I would start hitting that diffuser like a vape. <laughs> oh, should we vape that? You probably could. Sick clouds. Yeah. That was a. That, that was, was good. Good. <laughs> oh, that was a sick cloud. Wow. That was me that vaping. Was by the way. Sick. <laughs> you have to um, be there. We're back. Vibes are good. I couldn't be more relaxed, but also more energetic than I am right now mm. since essential oils work. They do. It's yep. scientifically this proven. In, this is doing so much for me right now, <laughs> having this blowing this vapor into my face. Nine out of ten dentists I, recommend I this. I yeah. Yeah. I'm not even going to brush my teeth anymore. You I don't think, need to. Yeah. You also think. can't tell me that you, you put a diffuser on at home, you don't just feel more at peace. I don't even know what peace means these days. Uh, the peace is I'm actually an essential oil. I'm glad that you can find some peace <laughs> yeah. and quiet. I have peace one and two at home in oils if you want them. You could borrow them. Oh, you have the only, peace essential oils? The only yes. peace I know are the pieces of my heart that I try and put back together because of this company. So... Wow. wow. Are you Legos sure the vibes are good? Uh, yeah. No, it's great. I love essential oils. <laughs> I mean, these you, things work. Are you doing if okay? If you're not an essential oil user, <laughs> yeah. become uh, one like me. <laughs> uh, for our listeners, there's a diffuser two feet in front of Miles. Not even. Not Get even. Closer. Foot and a half. It's in my nostril. 18 I need it inches. To just be going right up my nose. Don't rub that. A genie will come out. The yeah. cord's not long enough. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I don't think lavender would have been my first pick. Oh, you're not podcast, supposed to inhale. What? Yeah, it's supposed to just diffuse the air, not your nostrils. The situation, directly. too. So, yeah, that that could actually be very detrimental to I you can't and your believe, health. I can't believe I just did it wrong. Didn't know you could do essential oils wrong, mm-hmm. but here I am. Yeah. Noob. I'm a big noobie. Yeah, you'll, you'll figure learn. it out. Speaking yeah. of being a noob, mm. Mm. Uh, pretty newbie to the music industry. No idea what's going on with this song. <laughs> it's out. I and that's all that matters. Trying to claim out. my artist profile, all that stuff on the back end. No idea. Um, but I think we did it. I think we got it all figured out. Yeah. Drunk I am is out now. We won't go into a huge whole spiel like we did last week, but pretty cool to, to see mm-hmm. um the friendship started with Fillmore here on the podcast. Actually, yes. I uh looked back on the first song we wrote together and it was called i love her bush mm-hmm. yeah i remember that um, i like my baby but i, I love like her bush. my baby but i love her bush close yeah <laughs> um and so that was kind of cool that it started here on the podcast and That's neat. uh now we're just putting out songs um Perfect. so thank you guys for listening if you did listen to it if you haven't go check it out um but we're not here to talk about drunk i am right now we're here to talk, We're about, here to talk about, about uh how I think I think I think mm. I I think okay. sorry I'm 
Mm. I'm more tech. tripping balls on this essential <laughs> oil. Uh, move it diffuser. closer to Ryan here. Yeah, little, you can move it my tight. way a little bit because I'm having a tough time smelling it. Yeah, I'm getting nothing over here yet. It hasn't filled That's because it's just going up and straight into my nose. <laughs> well, if you let it run Not for, even diffusing the room. You let it run for about an hour, you come in here, you immediately fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. I'm, yeah, anyways, I'm, my mouth's skipping beats. Uh, I think that some of the Easter traditions that have nothing to do with religion are pretty bananas, bananasly stupid. I would say, arguably... People who dress up as rabbits are almost as scary as people who dress up in cl- as clowns. Ooh, if not worse. Yeah. Are if rabbits not worse. just as scary as clowns? Is really the question. Rabbits are creepy, uh, like big rabbits. <laughs> well, do, honestly, it mostly depends on two things: on if a rabbit is cute and cuddly, or creepy and scary as shit. Okay, mm-hmm. go on. Number one, mm. what are the eyes doing? Yeah, that's a big one. You know, are they? gigantic crazy eyes are they little like beady cute eyes or what all that and the other one is what's going on with the teeth boom i was there's gigantic teeth coming out of this Mm -hmm. bunny not for me (laughs) if there's no teeth showing all for it yeah why can't they just use an actual bunny people have Um, bunnies as pets because if you think about it actual bunnies are pretty fucking creepy too not really, though. They got the gross yellow teeth. They got their eyes are just black, beady, soulless eyes. Rabbits are not as cute and cuddly as you think. Baby rabbits are. Adult rabbits, yeah. scary. Is there a I difference would... between a bunny and a rabbit or what's a, a bunny rabbit? A bunny rabbit, yeah, yeah. But what's the difference? I don't think there is a difference. I, don't I think know. it's uh <laughs> That's a great question. Yes. Um uh, bunny. The creepiest rabbits are jackrabbits. You ever seen a snowshoe hare before? Yes. So you ever is, seen a rabbit a the, is the is the rabbit the same as a hare? And is a bunny a hare? Is it a bunny hare? I think they're all part of the hare family. Is it a hairy bunny rabbit? So what Jared just pulled up, a bunny usually refers to a baby rabbit. Okay. So Not bunny it. rabbit's a little baby. Bunnies are cute. Rabbits are creepy. Yeah. Yeah, those suckers. So yeah, are you trying to tell me the Easter bunny is a baby? Yeah, it's a pretty big baby. <laughs> That's messed up. It's a big baby. <laughs> What's it going to look like when it grows up? It's kind of like Ryan when we podcast too late. <laughs> what? Turns into a big rabbit. Yeah, turns into a big baby rabbit. <laughs> a big baby. Okay, well, I'd rather be a big baby rabbit. Than what is the one. difference between a rabbit and a hare? Snow, uh, I think species, probably. Speech, species? It's probably a different species. Is a rabbit a hare? Hares are larger than rabbits. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hares make nests. We actually have a full like family of snowshoe hares in our yard because we live like we have no neighbors, no trees, new neighborhood. Those are hares or jackrabbits? I think they're jackrabbits. Yeah. Well, so I thought the same thing. And then I looked up snowshoe because they turn completely white in, yeah. the, in the winter. Yeah. I looked up snowshoe hairs and their feet are fucking gigantic. <laughs> and these ones, by doing the Google look back and forth from the photos, yeah. I determined it was a snowshoe Wait, hair. Are, have you kind of taken inspiration from Charlie Barron's The Bird Watcher? Are you now a bunny watcher? I might be a <laughs> rabbit guy. You might may- be a rabbit watcher. Wildlife photography is in your future. I tell one day I come home with a pellet gun and 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 Anne cries her eyes out yeah. as I just peg them off Sit one on the by porch. one. Well, it's because yeah. they're eating the garden away. You yeah. gotta you you have to protect what's I'm yours gonna, before I'm, you protect. I'm them. gonna plant a garden just so I have an excuse <laughs> to get rid of the bunnies. Yeah, and I'm sure your your neighbors probably think the same thing. I mean, they're destructive. They'll eat landscape plants. They'll eat tomato carrots. plants. Carrots. Yeah, don't even think about growing carrots. Yeah, I. I'm so pissed. I can't even put carrots out in my yard anymore without them getting eaten up. Yeah, you can't even have a good... Frustrating. You can't even have a good carrot. Can a guy just good leave carrot. some carrots in his yard for tomorrow? I know. I know. They're gone in an instant. Have you ever grown carrots before? I've never grown a single fucking thing in have my life. Have you ever life. grown your own mushrooms? <laughs> you want, you want to know how to grow your own mushrooms? <laughs> Literally no Hell one gets yeah. that joke except for you guys. Someone has got to see the TikTok. Want to know how to grow your own mushrooms? <laughs> want to know how to grow your own carrots? <laughs> want, to know how to, want to know how to get rid of the snowshoes? <laughs> oh. BB gun. BB. Mm. Uh, live trap. Yeah, that would be a good one too. Yeah. Put it by the carrots. Live trap and then take it to my brother's house across the room. Let him loose. Yeah, let him loose. Yep. yep. 
They can't yep. get Actually, that might be illegal, uh, though. Uh, crossing state lines with uh, really? oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, live animals. I feel probably. like when you cross I state, I didn't say what river. I didn't say I was That's crossing true. state lines. True. Yeah, yeah. Okay, river. very could true. Could be the Cheyenne. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. DNR. That is very <laughs> don't true. Fucking look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's something about crossing state lines where just like uh, something might be illegal here. Yeah, I know yeah. you can't cross state lines with dead shit unless you've quartered it up first. Like if you have a deer, you got to quarter it before you cross the state line. What happens if I just blow it to bits with like a 12 gauge shotgun? <laughs> that's quartered up enough it's in my book. Up. Yeah, it's quartered up. All right. You quarter I just up. have giant pits in my yard from <laughs> blasting a shotgun. Cops show up. Uh, no, you got tent. You, uh, you rabbit uh, populations getting out of hand, officer. <laughs> Miles, you've got a pile of carrots yeah. and a jar of tannerite. <laughs> That would be so cruel. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be cruel. It'd it's be over quick, instantly. It's a quick. Painless. Right. Sorry, not cruel. That would be so terrible yeah. <laughs> yeah. to just watch bunny guts splatter all no, over no, no, the no. side of no, my house. No, you make sure there's no bunnies, just rabbits. Bla- yeah. Rabbit guts splattering all over my house. Hey, honey, you got to call the window cleaners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there's a liver stuck to the upstairs <laughs> window I can't get to right now. Yeah, there's a gizzard in the flower pot over there. I don't think they got gizzards. I'm sure they do. I think every animal has a blah, gizzard. Blah, they can't can't clean up all of the, the Help digestion. Can't clean up all the carcasses because there's just shit. It's just scattered everywhere. <laughs> so then know, I got birds in my yard. No, no. This is a cycle. Yeah, you got crows, over. you got turkey vultures. Here's the here's where you go wrong though with that is then the coyote population goes. Oh up. yeah. Because you're a little ways out. Mm. You know, you're kinda on the can't, edge of town. I can't be doing coyotes in, no. in my yard. Mm. No, that's bad news. Those poor carrots. Or I could trap one. Turn mm. into a pet. Guard guard mm. coyote. Guard yeah. Rabbit. I've seen I've seen videos of people taking coyotes in their house. Really? Yeah. That's had to have gone well. Probably your, not. Your but... TikTok feed looks way different than mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm assuming so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Easter, Easter egg hunts suck. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I haven't done one in years. I just don't understand how we went from what the true meaning of Easter is to creepy bunnies and hiding eggs full of candy and money randomly in outside is a thing. I read about this, and I remember the explanation kind of making sense. So if Go Jared on, could Google it. Oh, oh, so Tyler doesn't even know the yeah. explanation. No, I, I, know, just, I've read, I read this one too. You're right. No, it's an interesting explanation. No, Get her up, Jared. No, I know it. I just don't want to tell you guys right now. I don't want to one-up you. Yeah. So, so Jared, if you could pull it up really quick so I can read it really, really fast. No, 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 no. Just wait. It'll be interesting. Okay, what do I Google? What it, oh. Why do we have... Why, why is the Easter Bunny a thing? Why is the... Why is... The why is... Also, I, I'm wondering why eggs are associated with rabbits. Yeah. Because Fuck. I just I'm gonna I'm not gonna whole, I'm gonna stop a, guessing because this is a whole can of worms. This is a whole but, can of eggs. But they're questions <laughs> that need to be answered. According to some sources, the Easter Bunny first arrived in America in the 1700s. We didn't have bunnies in this <laughs> country until 1700s. Yeah, we just, had bunnies. We just didn't have Easter bunnies. Way to go, Christopher Columbus! You shouldn't have brought two of each species on the ark when that was came Noah. Over. That was Noah. But yeah. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Come on, yeah. this is what Easter's like. You, I know you, you mix reality with, uh, you mix with <laughs> fake bun. Oh, I don't know. There might be. Uh, we might have young listeners. Ooh, yeah, uh, easy. Uh, magical bunny <laughs> with religion. So uh, you want to know why? Sorry, you want to know why the Easter Bunny hides his eggs? You want to know how to grow your mushrooms? Because <laughs> he doesn't want to have all of his eggs in one basket. Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> He's ashamed he fucked a chicken. Oh, yeah. That's, that a, <laughs> that's a bad dad joke. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> this is such a bad dad joke. Yep. Hey, go back to that, Jared. Uh, that's some shit I would have said. I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah. You're looking good. <laughs> I know. We uh, need, so hey, I, we need to get this diffuser over on your table so uh, you can think clearly relax. like me. So the German ing- immigrants settled in Pennsylvania and transported their tradition of an egg-laying hare called Osterhasa <laughs> or <laughs> Osterhass. <laughs> you, that, you got it right. Yeah. I mean, like, there's no, no but, other. Their children yeah. made nests in which the creature could lay its colored eggs. So it, they Easter brought. Baskets. They didn't bring the Easter bunny. They brought the tradition. Correct, Ryan. <laughs> we knew that already. <laughs> we bring the eggs. You bring the bunny. Yeah. <laughs> we. You got to push that towards your side a little <laughs> yeah, bit. You got to get over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I am so fucked up from this. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit, like, I, you know, half a glass of whiskey, my eyes are getting a little glazed little, over. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I mean, happens. to be completely honest. Maybe you finish that, you might get a little rosy. You might not even yeah. make it to the ad read. I know. I might not even get to try the new Mountain Dew Purple Rain. The disclaimer for DraftKings today. Well, one inner gambler. Oh, uh, it'll be on point today. You oh, all know yeah. that. So Um, but yeah, I don't understand it. Why I mean like why do we hide that? Like I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. He's ashamed. Yeah. Did you Who, go on an Easter egg hunt this year, Tyler? I did. You have like eight kids, so you probably... No, well, my <laughs> kid went on two, but I I did one myself. Okay, you... Okay. Yeah, Grandma made me one, but there were clues in it. I had so... Egg one That's was, cool. was given to me. Make it, better. it led me to egg two, and then <laughs> Sorry, three, and then four. doesn't make it better. It's cute. <laughs> it was fun. But, but so Tyler's did, like 35 now. <laughs> you did it all by yourself? No, it was me and Becca were, and then my cousins had them. So Becca and I had horror clues because we were older. Uh, How young are your cousins? They're like 15 and 16. And then the little kids just got them hidden around. So what What it was at the end of your Easter egg hunt? The Easter basket full of candy and shit. Mm. What if you would have... There was some adult shit like chapstick and stuff. Uh, Nugenics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chapstick. <laughs> yeah, grandma's yeah. like, we got enough grandkids. Nice lubricant. Nice. Synthetic yeah. test booster. <laughs> I know you're doing yeah. grandma. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of latex. In it would have been nice if she put some Nugenics in there, but she didn't, grandma. All so right. if you're listening for next uh, year... All right, <laughs> all right Tyler. <laughs> uh, East, Easter's getting pretty expensive with all these grandkids running around. I got to put money in all these eggs. So here's your basket. <laughs> here's a Sponsored bog- by Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> all rubbers. Uh, they're on sale. I had a good time. Thank you for asking. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of good. How far away from the house did you have to go for this treasure hunt? They were all in the house. What if it just led him to the Trojan section at the grocery store? <laughs> <laughs> like she, grandma, like hid an egg behind one of the Trojan boxes. And it was just a recommendation, no baskets. Like this yeah. is just, you should try this. Yeah, <laughs> you need this. No, it was actually a gift card for the price of the box mm-hmm. in oh, yeah. the Easter egg. Yeah, and I would have spent it on. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> God, where is she really? She's sending us to a weird spot. Yeah. yeah why? Like, why is this gift card worth seven fifty nine plus tax? <laughs> is that how much they cost? These I, days? I have no I clue. Know. Me either. Tyler doesn't know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler doesn't even know what section of the store no. they're in. Like, are they in the hunting section? Are they in like hunting. the cosmetic section? Are they in the electronics? We don't know. <laughs> Is there a whole like birth control section period? <laughs> I don't know. Where's the you piece? would Tyler. not know. You wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, That's a smart idea. For that is pretty just like strict. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little indirect jab saying like Yeah, it was fun. I had, I had a good time. No, I'm sure I brought the Easter basket gotta, here. It's in my office. You, you guys gotta, want some candy? You gotta love old people though. Retire, they got absolutely nothing fucking going on. They're <laughs> like, all right, I'm just gonna make up a treasure hunt to the condom store. And that's what I'm doing this week. <laughs> yeah, some uh I think some places have them in like the enclosed case though. So you might have had to ask an employee. Mm, show an ID. Well, that's the yeah. if you're getting into like the, <laughs> Sheepskin ones. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> like the premiums? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Premium sheepskins <laughs> are in the. That's, yeah. Tyler has no idea what I'm talking skin. about. Hey, you know what we need to do? We all need to take one foot off of this <laughs> rabbit that you exterminate. <laughs> The the rabbit's foot is good luck. Mm. Oh yeah, especially if it's from. I thought you were going somewhere big. else with that. I thought you wanted to make condoms for Tyler. No, oh, no, no, from the rabbit. Oh, the rabbit. <laughs> Ryan song. gives me homemade rubbers for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hard pass. All Thank right, you if so you're not much. gonna buy them from the store, just at least get them as a gift, man. <laughs> no, like you, no, you get done like making sausage, like deer sausage, your family. You just give, like you give Tyler all the extra casing on. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Tyler. I don't know if this will do the job, but it might help. <laughs> he doesn't need much so no you could still have some yeah. left over for next year after you give it to no Tyler. the classic we'll just freeze the rest <laughs> <laughs> these are too uh, big yeah <laughs> what are casings made out of they used to be like intestines right i think they probably still are hmm. i actually You're don't talking know talking to the like four people who don't know any real facts about anything so we can't tell you. Yeah, but this, is, speculation. A, this is the place to make <laughs> shit up. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know. Honestly, Tyler, I've never made, I've never really made sausage, ring sausage before. Me either. 
Kind of sounds like a fun tradition, though. It smells good. You guys want to maybe make some good. ring sausage together? I I got to get home. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuff going I on at home. Shit. He's tired. <laughs> I got to. I am getting. I am actually getting sleepy. I I I don't know what's going. I'm fucked up. <laughs> well, the reason that Jared's behind the glass is because he would be really yeah. sleepy if this well, was. No, I think he's addicted and he's like just you know isolating himself from the situation. You know, yeah, it could be. not even going to the bar as an alcoholic. To yeah. No temptation. <laughs> right. If I was yeah. in there, I'd be laying on the table sleeping. Not even hitting the pull tab machine. <laughs> yeah. You'd be snorting this air off of the table in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it smells so. I good. wonder if you could do like those weird vape tricks with a diffuser. Probably. No, I don't think you could. You could try. Try it. No, I'm already getting. I think it would all just diffuse inside your body. Mm, possibly. <laughs> Thus, diffuser. Uh, you think you get a nice diffused buzz off of it? Yeah, I think I'm, so li- I'm living it. that scenario right now. I probably oh, wow. wouldn't be infused. Am I supposed to feel my arms and legs, or no? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I I feel like my head's just floating above my body. Right Mine now. too. Yeah. Are you actually being serious? Because I am. Yeah. What kind of <laughs> what kind of fucking essential oils did you buy, Jared? This is- some guy down the street I bought. <laughs> you got him from California? Yeah. Yeah, what was his nickname? <laughs> yeah. Candyman? Candyman, yeah. He's a good, good guy. Yeah, he seemed like he was wearing a robe, right? <laughs> yeah. Got he out of his good. van. Yeah. He looked like the big Lebowski. Yeah. He looked like, yeah. He smelled, but those oils are great. Yeah. Yeah, um, they're great. It's organic, man. Um, I got I got one thought. How, how do yeah. you guys feel about Easter ham? Do you guys eat ham for dinner? Hell yeah. We had ham. I'm not a big ham guy. I love ham. I love ham. Yeah. I am strictly in the middle on ham. Jerk. Yeah. I like. Fan. I will. I will eat fuckloads of turkey. Really, white or dark? I will only have a couple slices of ham, and then I'm like, oh, I'm pretty good on ham for the day. Maybe one slice. I'm yeah. the opposite with ham. I will eat a shit ton of ham. Turkey, I'll have a couple pieces. Oh, I love turkey. Ham's pretty versatile though. You can have it with eggs. I don't. I yeah. just turkey and eggs doesn't seem right. It's also. I mean, the other forms of ham, pretty good, too. Yeah. Ham salad. Is the pig the best animal for meat? Uh, it's definitely one of the juiciest, Top yummiest. Three. Yeah. Think about it. You got but, I mean, pork chops. I, I mean, bacon. No. I mean, a cow is literally a yeah, it's the, Rolls the Royce. T-bone. Yeah. yeah, you can't get bacon out of a cow, though. But you, can get, you can't get T-bones I out will, of a pig. There's a reason you why chops, you wrap pigs around cows. Mm, yeah. like, it's not the main dish. You're not Correct. wrapping steaks around pieces of ham, all right? <laughs> That'd be cool, though. <laughs> you could try. Yeah. Like a thin slice. Yeah. You're not, I'm you're not cu- stuffing a... You're not stuffing a ham with steak. What know? about a roast beef wrapped ham? That might be good. That might be kind of good. It's like a Tur Duncan. I don't know how that works, but I don't know what you guys are talking about. Roast beef is pretty thinly sliced. You could wrap a ham in it, mm. like you wrap beef with pig. Yeah, yeah. You probably just wouldn't do that, but yeah. you might. I don't, I don't think anyone <laughs> would ever eat that. So, <laughs> um, here's an odd question: You guys ever had meat sushi? Uh no, isn't that just what sushi is? Well, fish no. Is so no. You, you basically like flatten There's out a fish in sushi. Basically, like yeah, flatten out a meat, flatten out a bunch of hamburger in, it into like is a, fish meat. I, I think, think so. it should be. I think it's cold blooded. It's anyway. not. It's not meat because I know you hate Lent, Tyler. Uh, but yeah. you can eat fish on Fridays right. as a Catholic, and uh, that you can't eat meat. So I don't think fish are meat. What defines meat? Isn't it just flesh of an animal? I think it is a mammal. Mm. Or like warm blood. So technically blood. like dolphins would be dolphin meat. Interesting. <laughs> never, had, dolphin, never had though. dolphin. <laughs> I don't know. Is, am I right there? Is no, dolphins, dolphins are mammals. Are mammals? Yeah. yeah. So are whales. Yeah. Whale meat. Okay. I don't or, know. I don't, I don't know either. I no idea. <laughs> Dolphins are they mammals. They are mammals, yeah. We're they're, wondering what's the definition. They're big time fucking mammals. Yeah. yeah, like why isn't fish considered meat? Are <sighs> dolphins meat? <laughs> fish mm, of the okay. flesh. Fish oh. is the flesh of an animal used for food, and by that definition, it's meat. Fuck you. However, totally different. <laughs> however, many religions don't consider it meat. Oh. So. So textbook says yes, religion says no. Because we have a classic uh, church and state, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, type of battle on our hands. Well, because uh, Jesus was a big fish guy, wasn't he? He was. He made a lot so, of fish uh, out of a little oh, fish. Yeah. It makes sense that carpet. you're able to eat fish on Good Friday or whatever. Yeah, is. yeah, it's not meat. Yeah, 
He didn't support a cow. Okay, make- someone who Googled is fish a, a veggie or meat, <laughs> that is fucking insane. <laughs> I think it more so like if can you eat fish as like a vegetarian? A uh, pescatarian you can. Those pescatarians. What about if you're a utilitarian? Um, you're eating <laughs> yeah. not much. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, okay. Lots of potatoes. Go scroll down a little more. I'm not fucking this is how this is uh this is arguing in 2022. You argue about something, you Google it, and you just keep searching till you yeah. find a source that backs up your <laughs> argument, and then you smash it in the other person. But here's face. the thing: have you ever have you ever tried to argue something, looked it up on Google, and then just you like you can't <laughs> find something to prove your point, so you just drop it. You, you change, don't say anything. You change the subject <laughs> yeah, as soon as yeah. you can. You, you just stay quiet. These, oh yeah, looks like they don't really have any. I guess no one's really talking about it. And then it's over. (laughs) Just put it in your pocket. Hey, you want to go get some meat? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I I I I fell victim to this like a couple weeks ago. I can't remember the scenario, but uh, (laughs) it's it is the worst (laughs) feeling though. You're like, no, absolutely not. And then you Google it, and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, Internally, you know. How was your weekend, man? (laughs) So uh, while I search for this, uh, what do you want to do for dinner? (laughs) (laughs) Or it's just a classic. I can't find anything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna move Google, on. Google's down today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check Twitter see if everyone else is experiencing Google down. Yeah. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Google down today. <laughs> yeah, Google it's down. it's not a good feeling. <laughs> then you really just end not. it with a, well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> didn't matter yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a dumb little argument that I was probably I'm right on anyway. Pretty, pretty sure I was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but that literally is what it is. Mm-hmm. There's no like encyclopedia that's like law anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's fine. Google. You just yeah. search. You you will be able to search and search and search until someone agrees with your point. One hundred percent, and you'll be able to find someone who does. Yeah, it'd be another nut job like you that believes in that. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Just like you guys <laughs> found nut jobs to believe that essential oils do something. Well, you already talked about how peace. good you feel. No, I said I'm absolutely laminated right now. <laughs> they put you at peace. I couldn't. Be, I'm cr- I'm cross-eyed. cross-eyed. You're welcome. You're. Li- <laughs> I'm so high. On diffuser. Yeah. Uh, after on the lavender. break, we might have to switch out the uh, yeah. flavor. I think I've thoroughly baked on the lavender. We might have to try out a different flavor. Yeah. No, I agree. I'm right there with you. Can I pour some of these? Drops into my bush light. You could totally. You could. Up I kind of want to do an. I want to remember do it's a, concentrated. Though, it's so not going to change the taste. It's I just, just the do smell. one drop. I want to do a lemon bush latte. <laughs> you won't. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, do it, Miles. Yeah, probably no different than like CBD drops. Should I pull up poison control? Caution. For external use only, avoid <laughs> contact with the eyes. Keep out of the reach of children. If pregnant, consult with your healthcare provider before use. I think I'm does, not pregnant right now. But also doesn't. Oh, does, I'm not pregnant. You, so. Also, don't bring home second ham essential oils to your pregnant wife. Ooh. We know she's already pregnant again. She so. probably is. <laughs> no, it hasn't been six weeks. Oh. So. Yeah, but Tyler, I don't know. He's. I'm he's in, kind of an early bird. Early I'm bird impatient. gets the worm, yeah. you know? Imagine how low his tea has been this whole time, and now it's back. He's back in a big, big way. Yeah. Back, baby. Um. So, yeah. Easter's fun. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah. Easter's a good time. Strange holiday. Very uh, strange. Yeah. With the whole religion slash commercial side of it. It's very Say, strange. It's like Christmas as well. No, Christmas is like... Elite. Santa is not religion. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he is. Go on. Do you know who Saint Nick is? <clears throat> Saint I Nick. Heard of him. <laughs> uh, do you want to Google that? Do you know who Saint Nick is? <laughs> Ever heard of him? <laughs> nice, Jared. <laughs> Absolute fucking zinger. <laughs> do you know who Saint Nick is, Tyler? Google it. <laughs> <laughs> is was Saint Nick the guy that wore lots of red and rode around on flying reindeers in yes. a sleigh? He was. Well, that's what happens. We had one big. Uh, one big game of telephone, and now it's yep. he flies around on reindeer. Instead, he just walked through the through the neighborhood and just dropped coins into people's houses. Mm. Loves Coca Cola. Yeah, he's also known as Robin Hood as well. Very similar <laughs> character. Yeah. Robin Hood stole the toys. He didn't have any elves make them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a telephone. It stuff yeah. gets mixed up, and it doesn't say anything about Saint Nicholas being a big jolly old man. I think he was mentally jolly, though. Probably, yeah. Mentally, mentally he was the guy we're looking at in the photo. And I <laughs> mentally, think to me, up. he's Tim Allen. 
<laughs> hey, that was good, Jared. That was pretty good. Is Jared. that Ru- uh, Rudolph? Uh, or, uh, is it, that's one of the reindeers on also, Santa Claus. Funny you bring that up. Funny you should ask, Alan. <laughs> uh, I get Al Borland a lot. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. right hand man to Saint Nick. Yeah, Al who? You don't know him. Uh, okay. I tend to Tool Man Taylor's best buddy. Right hand yeah. man. I never yeah. watched. I didn't watch that kind of TV. Oh, I Pam Andy too. Pam Anderson. She was on Tool Time. No shit. Yep. Like one episode or? I can Google it. Pam Anderson was? Yeah, she was on Home. I can't believe how much Pamela Anderson shows up in our content and on our podcast. (laughs) Pam Pam is everywhere. She She hasn't been relevant in how many years? But she was a staple when we were younger. That's true. Oh my God. No shit. Oh yeah, I remember that. Girl Next Door. She's like the... she, She was the like... Uh, the helper with her tool belt on and stuff like that, mm-hmm. right? Yep, nailed it. I didn't. Had, I, d- I didn't even think about the fact that was Pam Anderson. She hasn't aged a single day. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Miles, she was a staple to every twenty-some-year-old's childhood. I loved her in so... Borat. Yeah, I never saw Borat. <laughs> I, I a long time ago. Oh, you'd like it. Wait till the end. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um yeah all right. all right replace home improvement with borat jared <laughs> no, i'm kidding <laughs> you're so silly <laughs> uh <laughs> shit Miles, when you get married are you gonna refer to Anne as my wife my <laughs> wife <laughs> uh probably my not life. probably not just ball and chain Charm. Um, battle, battle axe. axe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Battle axe. The old battle axe. <laughs> Elaborate. I don't know. It just is what Jake it came is. up with. Well, I don't know if Jake came up with that, but. That actually may be his only original thought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we need Jake up here running the Google because he won't even need to run He doesn't. Google. He'll just know the answer. He just knows. We should just start calling him Google. <laughs> Googs. <laughs> Googs. What up, Googie? <laughs> no, he's, he's more of a Jeeves. Yeah. He, he just ass, guesses. Yeah, he's an ass Jeeves type guy. Or a cha-cha. Cha cha. Cha. Yep. Yep. Two four two two four two. Two, four, two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that just unlocked a memory yeah. in my brain. Cha yeah. cha. We, we did that on the podcast once. I texted cha cha. Is it still in existence? No. <laughs> Who's got it now? I don't know. Who owns cha cha? It's got to be it. NFT. <laughs> either either NFT <laughs> or it's like some like escort service. It's two, yeah. Four, two two four two now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder what would happen what if we called that number. To... It's a very informational episode for yeah, us here. Really educating. Your fingers got to be sore in there, Jared. Carpal 2016. Cha-cha, real smooth. Dude, Insufficient dude. funds. Damn. I would love to give a cash infusion to Cha-Cha. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can buy the licensing from it. Yeah, declining <laughs> advertising revenue. Think about how much more electric this podcast would be if we didn't have a bunch of Google articles to scroll through. We just had to take Cha-Cha's answer as law. Yeah. That, that would used be electric. To be yeah. Can't though. Yeah. Discontinued. I wish we could. I, Cha-Cha yeah. was, yeah, it was good. Cha-Cha reels. <laughs> Answered 1.7 billion questions. I was at least So basically, yeah, that would be, we'll just call Jake Cha-Cha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cha-Cha Jake. 242, 242, what do we got on this? <laughs> well, you see, Miles. <laughs> According to this knowledge I made up in my brain, here's your answer. Go down, go down. What does it say about mobile marketing? Before we take a break, I got to figure out what this is. Launch its first mo- mobile marketing campaign with Coca-Cola to promote its My Coca Rewards program to its users interested in NASCAR. Were people a lot of NASCAR fans using Cha Cha back in the day? I don't know. No idea. Fox News reported that Cha Cha planned by mid 2008 to charge users five to ten dollars per month once they exceeded ten inquiries. <laughs> uh, I, you know we can't settle this heated Mm-mm. debate because I'm already at ten for the month. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to pay the five bucks a month. It's like second of the month. But think about like it though. Days. Five yeah. bucks a month back then too is spending, yeah, and I, each hey, one of us gets back ten. Then, <laughs> literally like ten years ago, you're like, oh. no, 2008. 2008 is when they launched that five, five ten dollars. Fourteen years ago, <laughs> that was recession. Gas was like four bucks at. Also, I love how it's five to ten, meaning it's going to be fucking ten. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But here's the thing, guys. Yeah, well, it we depends get, on how many extra questions you want, five or ten dollars worth. 
We get 10 questions per guy. We got 40 questions for a whole month. We're solid. I have 40 bucks a month. Uh, do you do 40 Googles a month? <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah. You think? Yeah. I, I do mean, we've f- done uh, I'll do eight like, already. I'll, I'll Google like shit like five times a day. Mm. Yeah. But just in this podcast, oh. we, we could... We could stay under the 40 cha-cha also, limit. Also, for those who don't know what cha-cha is, it was a service back in the day on your flip phone. You could you could text 242-242, whatever question you wanted, and it would give you an answer. Mm-hmm. Could Correct? You, could yes. you star 6-7 it, too? Yeah. No, but it'd be fun to you'd change cha-cha's name in your contacts to one of your buddies' names, and then you just ask it something stupid and be like, oh, look what so-and-so texted me. Ah, uh-huh. oh, That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Cause Cha Cha would mess around with you if you'd ask like dumb questions like yes something I mean, like are you in happy reality, today? Cha Cha was Siri and Alexa before well it, before voice it ever happened. It's kind of yeah. like the Magic Eight Ball. Like you ask it a question. <laughs> Magic Eight Ball <laughs> was the first Cha Cha. Cha Cha was the first <laughs> Hey Siri. Mm-hmm. You ever have a Magic Eight Ball? Uh, listen to this. Alexa, play "Drunk I Am" by you. You betcha, guy. <laughs> Now nah, hopefully that goes off when everyone's mm. living. Room. Hell yeah! <laughs> nice. That was, uh, that now was get good. get the rest of them. I'm pretty sure that's like illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? I don't know. It seems like you can't do that. Yeah, I just keep going with the rest of them. Do a hey Google. Get yourself. Do a Siri. Just get them all quick. Yeah. I don't know what. Uh, it's fine. Okay. I don't. I don't, I don't want to get caught up in litigation. <laughs> yeah, we can't cross state lines with that kind of shit. Yeah. No. Unless you quarter. I didn't, it up I'm first. not quartering this up, so I'll <laughs> keep it in this side of the. Yeah. 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 This Side of Mississippi. We'll put a disclaimer at the end. This is a comedy podcast. <laughs> oh, that was that was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read to you. You betcha guy. <laughs> Drunk I am. <laughs> that was this podcast. You accept all terms. You betcha guy. Yeah, I'm making you listen to songs. Yeah. <laughs> Copyright. Disclaimer. Life is better on the porch productions. <sighs> <laughs> all right. Let's take a break. <laughs> sure. And what are we going to talk about after the break? Uh, Purple Thunder. Yep. Yeah, Purple Thunder. And then uh, Manly. Don't do them. They gotta wait to listen. Okay. Wow, what a tease. Ah, uh, playoffs, NBA playoffs, we'll Miles. Playoffs? They are in full swing, playoffs? and my Purple Memphis playoffs? Grizzlies. I couldn't be more excited about them. Mm-hmm. The only thing that makes me more excited about my Memphis Grizzlies right now is DraftKings Sportsbook and how much money I can put on them. Cha-ching. Uh, you you gambling a little bit on the NBA playoffs, Jared? A little bit I here and there. Yeah. I knew you would be. Mm-hmm. Miles, you gambling on the NBA playoffs right now? Sure, Tyler. You are, and you're using DraftKings Sportsbook. But if it's not available in your state, you can use the Fantasy app. I love the Fantasy app. I'm picking a team. No, you know what I'm betting on? I'm betting on baseball because I only have a few games left in the season to bet on. So (laughs) yeah, it's trying to get in these betting on these games in when I can. You're like Pete Rose. Yeah, I just (laughs) I can't I cannot. You know, (laughs) baseball, love it. Uh, Guess what you can bet on on DraftKings Sportsbook, guys? Mm. The USFL. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You can. And if you don't have it in your state, like I said, you can use the fantasy app. Guess who I had picked number one pick on mine? Shea Patterson. Did it go great? We got a lot of season Let's left. A lot of season part. left. A lot of season move left. Move to the next part of the this. <laughs> yes. Thing, yes. Uh, so go bet on the USFO on DraftKings Sportsbook or the Fantasy app. Check it out today. Must be 20 years old. Virginia and Pennsylvania. A new customer limit and five hundred and one original card. One per customer receives an apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook oh. for details. And if you have a gambling problem, call one hundred gambler. Uh, uh, oh my God! I'm. St- <laughs> If that doesn't make you want to get DraftKings, I don't know what the fuck will. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. I actually got pretty lightheaded there. Must be all the fucking lavender in the room. (laughs) Speaking of lavender, Mm. want to know what color lavender is? Purple. Purple. Whoa. You want to know? I think lavender's lavender. Yeah. It's, well, it's a it's, it's a, a shade of purple. Yes. Right? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Jesus fuck. Roy G. B- on a fucking roll. Start hey, it over. It's Roy G- nope, We're going with hey, Roy G. Bivel. <laughs> purple thunder. Mountain Dew. <laughs> purple thunder is here. <laughs> do you love? Lightning. Do you love <laughs> yeah. exclusive Mountain Dew launches to holiday gas stations? Yep. Do you no, love I the do. Vikings and bad weather? <laughs> <laughs> do you like a nice? Thunderstorm? <laughs> Purple thunder. <laughs> um, no, but actually, though, we're about to... Oh. Do with a blast of berry plum. Natural and berry. artificial flavor. So, all right. Holiday actually has its own exclusive Mountain Dew flavor 
None of us have tried it. Correct. I have not. Tried I never it have. I've never Jared tried didn't give this me before. A bottle, though, so. We're about, about to do that. a real time taste test here on the podcast. Um, ooh, here we go. Berry plum. I don't know if I've ever had a blair, a <laughs> blairy plum, blairy bum. <laughs> ooh, I gotta buy one, get one. Did you actually? <laughs> no. Uh, don't fucking give me excited. Ooh, a free like NFL it. hat. <laughs> <laughs> I oh I fuck! So I just hats. gotta go enter the code in <laughs> yeah. on the website. Yeah. I'm well, never gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Purple. Purple Thunder, New Mountain Dew flavor at holiday. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. I don't like. know if I've like ever had a pl- and plums. I don't know if I've ever had like a plum on itself. It, it is uh It reminds me of Pepsi Blue back in the day. Yeah, I don't know that, but uh <laughs> I'm getting berry, I'm getting plum. It's pretty good. I'm getting a hint of purple and a hint of thunder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're a Mountain Dew lover, like I know we got a lot of people who like Mountain Dew. Yeah. Jake's probably listening right yes. now. He loves Salivating. This. He had one this morning. This um, is actually be good did. over ice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had to like, we had to pace Jake because he was drinking all the ones they sent us. Yeah. He's drinking no like, shit. he was drinking like almost two a day. Like it was water. That sounds no like shit. Jake. Yep. So this is pretty good. You got to go try it. Holiday gas stations. If you're a Mountain Dew guy or gal, gotta go get the Purple Thunder Berry Plum. Never wow. had it before. That was pretty good. Imagine on a like a hot summer day cracking oh open ice cold God. Purple Thundy. Working out construction outside. Icy yeah. cold. You pull it out of the hey, cooler. Hey, I'm gonna head to the cooler. gas station. Yeah, <sighs> that would well be good. Hash brown. Yeah. Ooh, does it? Mm-hmm. Sure. You had it with the hash brown. Not. Not on camera, but I have had Mentally, them. you have paired them. Right. Sure. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Go get your own Purple Thunder Mountain Dew. <laughs> purple Thunder. You got to drink these during the Vikings game, Tyler. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they'll let me bring them in. On ice. Okay. <laughs> at your house. <laughs> no, I live at the bank. Oh, my <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> ah, you set yourself up for that, Miles. No. Perfect for a skull chant. Yep. No, Skull. no, no, no. I will, Come on, Jared. I will. I it. I'll throw this diffuser at you. Are you gonna? Are I, you, it'd be so. Are you about to defuse that? the situation? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that sounds like it might escalate it. <laughs> so defuse it. All right, see. Ooh, great conundrum there. Conundy. If, if you. <laughs> Never mind. You got the joke right. <laughs> Have a something that escalates, but involving a diffuser. Is it a diffuser or is it an escalator? It neutralizes. Is it a Troy yeah. escalator, Jackson? What happens? What happens if you're holding a diffuser on an escalator? Are you escalating oh, or diffusing? You're escalating the diffusion. <laughs> are you, or are you diffusing the escalation? escalation. Fuck. That's actually a valid question. Can we Google that? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find yeah, it's not, uh, yeah. I don't know. Not enough people are searching yeah. that these days. What were we going to talk about in this segment? <laughs> so, yeah, lavender. Yeah, good, good stuff. I'm still drinking this Mountain Dew. I like it. Mm-hmm. I, like I haven't that. had a legit Mountain Dew for years. Ryan, toss me that. I want to try it. Yeah. Ooh, don't check it up though. too much, though. You want to come and get it, Tyler? So it <laughs> nah, it's way cooler. You throw it. Purple Thunder. All right, Jared. All right. We have a new segment. Yep, manly. Very sim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have to. You have to. <laughs> what do they call it when you like? You like just, it's going. It's going. It's going. Well, yeah, because you stopped it mid air. What was I supposed to do? You're supposed to caress it. Like you're supposed to like. <laughs> What do they call it when you... Good thing I got... He's a wrestler, dude. He has no soft, soft hands. hands. That's what it is. The softies. Yeah. Also, just thought about this. Troy Williamson. Do you think yeah, we could favorite. diffuse the Purple Thunder Mountain Dew in the With, room if I just mm. put a few drops in there? Probably. Uh, Actually, maybe no, next podcast. We'll have to diffuse some Purple Thunder. <laughs> of course it's going to explode, Tyler. That was a bonehead move by both. I barely guys. opened it. I wanted to let the, thing, the air out, and it still just... <laughs> Well, that's because it's purple. It's good. I enjoy it though. What, what was it? What did it do? Uh, I barely unscrewed the thing and <laughs> purple thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are getting I'm, better. Now my hands are gonna be so sticky. Well, that's <laughs> your, not gonna be much preparing for tomorrow night. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, hey, he's going to have really soft hands tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, I forgot we weren't talking about that on the podcast. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can put two and two together. If yeah, you know they'll figure saying. it out. Um, all right, Jared, new segment. Very similar to this other segment mm. we did. Yeah. <laughs> Last segment. <laughs> Are you okay, Jared? Sorry, yeah. Holy fuck. What's going Sorry. on? I had a piece Get of ice. in here to diffuse yourself. Yeah. Sorry, I had a piece of ice stuck uh, in my throat. All right, so the segment today, <laughs> last week we did uh, girly things we like, so this week will be manly things we hate. Mm. All right. Do you want me to go first? Sure. So this isn't necessarily something that I hate. I'm just not interested in it. So that counts, right? A manly thing that I don't really care about, okay. I should say. Okay. It's not a, this is a manly thing that I don't care about, and that would be like cars. Mm. I'm like, with you on I, that. You're not, not a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yep. I, I understand and I like having a nice truck. I like, I think cars look cool. They sound cool. I like them when they go fast, but lifting up the hood and getting into a car yeah. and I don't, figuring out how to make it faster and all that stuff just has no interest for me. Yeah, I, I could, I'm not, I'm not a motorhead. I'm not, I don't want to, I'm not interested in talking about different engines you're not a sled or, neck. or twin turbos. Yeah, yeah. I could care less how many cylinders this thing has. But the one thing I do care about a couple of AC seats family. Oh um, fuck. Under our nose. That's all that matters. And NOS. I also care about NOS. <laughs> NOS is sick. NOS. Why every car isn't come equipped with NOS? NOS is sick. You imagine just rolling rolling down the interstate and it's like you're just trying to pass the car to get on to the exit. <laughs> yep. You know, like you're caught in that weird spot on the interstate where you're like, if I, I don't want to slow down and have to get over to get off <laughs> yeah. the interstate. So you want to gun it around? Imagine if you're just able to hit a little bit of a nitrous oxide and just blaze by that guy. And then the guy that you, the guy you blaze by is like, too early. <laughs> <laughs> then he nosses around yeah. you, <laughs> and then you're fucked. You got to take the next yeah, exit. You, you just might as well just call it a day. Hell yeah, nos is sick. Yeah, I'm not a huge car guy either. Yeah. Nos is sweet though. <laughs> <laughs> is sweet. I think we need to be using nos in more things. You know, golf carts, golf carts, lawnmowers, lawnmowers, Vicky Valancourt, mm. uh, yeah. leaf blowers should have NOS on them. Mm -hmm. That would be electric. NOS yeah. tank on a leaf blower. And quite literally. No, would not be electric. A leaf blower can be electric, can it? NOS yeah. is, NOS is, is NOS, a gas. Is it, it would not, it would just be, it wouldn't work on a. On so electric. can someone explain to me <laughs> so what, time what out, NOS is e does? Time out. Is Elon Musk... Eliminating the market for NOS? Correct. Single-handedly? You cannot put NOS in a Tesla. We got to figure out the equivalent to NOS in an electric car. <laughs> ah, it's easy. It's a rapid charge charger. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be like a full battery. Yep. <laughs> 100%. A stim pack. 100% battery is like equivalent to like, NOS. Yeah, it's like it. on the iPhone, they have the extra battery case. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just like you just strap an extra little magnetic battery on the bottom of your car. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that would be. And you just, you just, but you have to have a button that you flip up and then flip the switch to to activate the NOS and then a button on your thing. Otherwise, it'd be so boring yeah. if it was just like you press one button. Yeah, you gotta have fun. a, you gotta activate the NOS. It's gotta have a cover on it. It's way so does NOS inject the gasoline? Or like, what does NOS inject? Well, no, I'm pretty is, sure it, NOS burns faster I'm than gasoline. I'm pretty sure so that NOS goes. is nitric oxide. Right. But how, like, how does it make the car or faster? Or nitrous gas. Do you want the actual answer or do you want a joke? Yeah, nitrous, I wanted the actual answer. Nitrous oxide. It burns faster, propelling the car faster. Okay. It is introducing extra oxygen into the intake charge. Duh. Which is which <laughs> fucking duh, dude. Duh, dude. More combustion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Higher risk for explosion. I'm, I'm going to be, com <laughs> be com <laughs> busting out of these pants once I hit the NOS, you know? I'm going to be combusting out of these pants <laughs> when I, once I get home. <laughs> yep. Pajama time. Oh, we talked about that. It. <laughs> it's jammy time. Pajama time. <laughs> Come here, little kitty. Oh, oh. Is that an Eminem song? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I'm a huge Eminem fan. I think I, I know. Whatever. <laughs> How much faster does NOS make a car go? 30 to a few hundred additional ponies <laughs> under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> this is a legit article. Yeah. Talking ponies. Talking pony power. 
<laughs> not, well, not full horses. <laughs> no, so ponies. It would, it would be anywhere from you know fifteen to one hundred <laughs> regular horses. Yeah, but thirty to a few hundred <laughs> ponies. How many ponies is one horse? It's usually like a half a horse. Yeah, it's a double. Okay. It's a baby horse. Double. Yeah. It's like a sure. rabbit. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like. We could have, you know, like on your lawnmower, it's measured in tortoises and bunnies. Yeah. So a bunny would be a half a rabbit on your lawnmower. So you're saying car companies should start in their commercials advertising how many ponies because it sounds cooler than horses. Well, you can get more ponies into a car <laughs> right. than you so can. If it's a got 5,000 horsepower, it's got 10,000 pony power. Yes. <laughs> pony power. <laughs> do, you, do you want more ponies? Just take horses, divide them by two. <laughs> Sounds cooler. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> Guts, glory, ponies. <laughs> That's good. That was really good. Yeah, I'm not a big car guy either. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just not a motorhead. No. Not because I like think it's dumb or anything. Like it, Cars are cool. Yeah. I just have no interest in slapping my head under a hood and just being like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> what we got? What's going what we on got? in the lots hood? Of, lots of grease. <laughs> lots of tw twin turbos yeah. in here. Uh, I just don't understand it. I'd probably be more interested if I understood what the hell they were telling me. Well, here's yeah. the thing. If you want to learn more and you ask a motorhead about it, they'll talk they to don't, you for they the don't next stop. three hours. That's that yep. very true. <laughs> and, just, and, well, and it's also, then you, you also have this thing where you're not, you, again, this is like the manly thing that comes in. If you don't know something about cars that a motorhead thinks you should know, they will be like, give you the look like, how did you make it this far without learning mm -hmm. what, Yeah, how fucking NOS works, my guy. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the only way I know NOS works is Fast and Furious. Yeah. So, family. I don't know. Yeah. Well, and family. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good that. take. Well, yeah. here's the, okay. Here's a, here's a debate here. Would you rather have NOS or would you rather have family? Oh. I'd rather have family. Because <laughs> without family, there is no Nas. I'd that rather have true. Nas because he can get to, get me to my family faster. <laughs> That's fucking true, dude. It's actually not a bad one. Ask Jeeves would have said the same yeah. thing. I'm going to be Check honest that. with you, though. I think that in the right circumstance, car could be fueled on family. <laughs> uh, Sheer willpower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get out and push. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially in the wintertime. In the <laughs> Why did no one make like a, like a parody Fast and Furious movies? Did we, they ever do that? We could do that. <laughs> like, basically. That the, would be funny. It would be so easy. It is not even like the cheesy lines. It's like the shit that happens would be like, you know. They just would have normal people stuff happening. Like they run out of gas yeah. during a race. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot to put the gas in again. Yeah. yeah. You know, like shit like that. You that could start it with racing, and by the end of it, you have to take down international crime syndicates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In space. Yeah. In so <laughs> with with Ludacris. <laughs> Luda! <laughs> You just find like a local artist that's like a, like a dive bar, dive bar. Oh, we know, we know a musical, musical artist. Me. Yeah, <laughs> true. You could be our ludicrous cameo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't play the lead. Um, can I say one manly thing that I don't like? Mm -hmm. This one's going to be very controversial. Do you know where I'm going with it? No, I have no idea. So <clears throat> one manly thing that I hate is straight black coffee. Oh. No, I'm with you. I put a little creamer in mine. I need I, I, I need some it, I though. need some sort of smoothness. I need some creamer or I need some uh I need some milk or I need something to I don't know. A little too bitter for me. I don't hate black coffee, but I prefer coffee to have something in it. Yeah, correct. Correct. Time to grow up, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Manly thing I don't like. I can respect your Honesty, <laughs> but I can't respect you anymore as a human being. You drink espresso shots straight, but that's very short term. He's not. He's not sipping on the espresso. Yes. He's taking it like a I'm, shot. I don't even. Uh, to be completely honest, I don't even enjoy drinking espresso. I just do it because it lights you me would up. You would enjoy. You enjoy the effects. It's like taking a shot Correct. of tequila if you don't like tequila. People still do it. Reminds me. Do you know what happened to my signed George Clooney bottle of Casamigos? No. Is it gone? I don't know. I didn't see it in there. 
It's not that I, I didn't touch it. Maybe George came and took it back. Well, I don't know. Anyway, Maybe sorry. NFT'd yeah. it. <laughs> Can't <laughs> believe that's all I had on me. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. George. And that other guy. <laughs> yeah. What was the other guy? I don't know. It, it just felt bad, but kind of devalued my bottle <laughs> by signing it. But yeah, George. Felt bad. Uh, <laughs> no, just grow up and just drink regular black coffee. I've never drank a black. You though. probably Th- there's been no you probably transition. Probably haven't time. had this is this is classic fucking snob of anything, right? You probably just haven't had a good cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah you could go to Holiday and find one of those. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I yeah, I don't know, but at Holiday because there are some bad black coffees, like straight up Folgers. Well, just like even I think that. Bleep Bucks is a terrible coffee. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had it straight black coffee. It's not good. Not from there. I haven't. I would, I'm taking holiday coffee, and that's not even like a plug. It's like I'll take holiday coffee over the other guys. Much cheaper too. Of the week and way cheaper. Yep. But here's the thing they have creamer at holiday. Mm-hmm. So why would I not put it? I'm putting in? it in there too. I'm, I'm with you. I prefer if the I'm only. Put- only option is black coffee. I will drink it. I will still enjoy it. I do not hate it, but I prefer creamer in yeah, my coffee. Yeah, and I had a I had a cup of black coffee this last weekend because there was no creamer available. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, and I mean, I, I it was still fine. Yeah, uh, it's an acquired taste. <laughs> I'm You're sure just not there is. yet, Ryan. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I don't think I'll ever be there. No one, no one likes, no one likes black coffee when they first have it. I feel like it's kind of like beer. Yeah, like, no one just loves beer when they first start drinking it. It's true. The uh, but why would or I f- like or like bro- would you say that like broccoli and shit is like an acquired taste? Sushi, um, mm, sushi is not an acquired taste. I grew oh, to yeah. like. I think onions. it maybe would I didn't be like Jared. Yeah, I would say sushi is. I would say sushi is kind of an acquired taste. Really? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. It's like it's so delicious, especially with it the, is good, but you acquired the taste. I'm gonna have some sushi after this podcast. Now it so does good. sound good. Yeah, it sound really good. Sushi. Um. I just haven't. I mean, if there's always creamer available, I'll just use it. I haven't been like, I'm going to force myself to drink black coffee today. <laughs> I feel, yeah, I understand it. That's fine, Ryan. <laughs> it's about what I expected. This is how the last segment went, too. I did mine, and you guys were like, yeah, I agree with that, man. <laughs> and then one of you guys went, and I was like, you guys are fucking insane. <laughs> I don't want to say mine anymore. No, nah, it's not oh. cool. No, well, I, I can understand that take because there are some days, I will admit, that I'm like, you know, I do wish that this cup of coffee wasn't as bitter as it is. Yeah. Yep. So I get that. But to not like it at all is... Also, you and it's to, not that I don't like it. I just I won't choose it. You also have to be patient with black coffee unless you've got the dad mouth that's leathered out and you can handle instant heat that scorches your mouth. Creamer will cool it down so you can drink your coffee right away. Yeah, that's true. You can literally put it right down the gullet. I will have to say that when I'm not feeling like just a bitter cup of coffee, like I just will drink something else for a caffeinated beverage that day rather than like, but I suppose if that was my only option, then that day I probably would want to do a creamer in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Once in a while. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. All right, Tyler, what do you got? Say it, you son of a... I hate grilling. Jared, what do you hate? <laughs> <laughs> what do, yeah, what the f- no what? Sh- I don't like it. I don't like grilling. What do you like to do then? It's, you don't like grilling for a group of people. We talked about this yeah. in the break room the other day. I'll grill for myself if it's like just one burger or one steak or one hot. Dog. I don't like having to deal with 15 different wait, wait, meats wait, wait, wait. on my grill, making wait, sure... Wait. So you'll just make meats? so you'll just make one what? burger. When I when I was a bachelor, what kind would, of exotic party are you at? That you have fifteen <laughs> different kinds of meats. You got hot dogs, you got burgers, you got steaks, you got chicken, you got whatever. <laughs> Who the fuck is doing that? It's Ten like more. you get two meats and that's it. It's either a hot dog or a brat, a burger or a hot dog. Either yeah. way, I don't like doing it. Even like when I was like a bachelor, and I would you just don't even cook. like cooking shish kebabs. Nope. <laughs> I don't want like dealing with it. What? I just I don't like having to walk it's out. Tyler, if you think about it, there's no cleanup on a grill. You just fucking leave yeah, there it. Is. You no, that dude, shit you clean up. it up the, the worst, next time. You burn it off the yeah. next. He doesn't know how to grill, and that's why he hates it. He Tyler, you grill fine. Doing. You clean it up then before you use it next. You literally yeah. 
<laughs> you're supposed to do it when it's hot though, because it's easier to clean. And the but you heat it up the next time you use it, and then you clean it, and then you put your shit <laughs> but on. But it's Correct. easier to clean after when it's already piping hot. It's piping hot when you heat the grill up. <laughs> it's not. Then it's freshly clean. There's no dust on it's, it from the other one. It's <laughs> easier to clean it off when it's goopy. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. It's too tedious. Uh, <laughs> you got to go in and out from the deck. <laughs> what if it's nice out? Yeah, in and out, Literally back and cooking, forth. Cooking like on a stove is infinitely more tedious. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. You have pans to clean, Tyler. You just <laughs> set it and forget it. Literally grilling. <laughs> yeah. You can char the fuck out of it on accident because you got too drunk and forgot to check it. And people will be like, you know, actually, I don't mind the charred little hot yeah. dogs. You know? <laughs> It's the same thing as s'mores. If you burn a s'more, people are like, no, I like them burnt. People like burnt hot dogs, so you have no worries yeah, in the world. Yeah, I, I do like burnt hot dogs. But no one likes burnt eggs. You can't burn a hot dog if you just boil it. You boil hot dogs on the grill? No, you boil it in the house. <laughs> on the grill? Not even like beer hot dogs or brats. You just boil it in the water on the tin thing. <laughs> This is a controversial. Thing. You boil hot dogs in the grill. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast. <laughs> oh, Tyler, we love you, but not so much right now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to talk tedious, the Blackstone is a little more tedious. Yes, I'm not fucking the, Blackstone the either. Blackstone if I don't like is grill, just like cooking something in a correct. Pan. Yes, it's correct. It's just an oversized. It's an oversized cast iron. Yeah. So I, what uh, what else don't you like about grilling? I, I don't like the responsibility of it either. You're in charge of that, everybody. That I can understand. There's, there's a lot of pressure as the grill master. There's so much <laughs> dick measuring too with your your steaks. I can get behind the no dick measuring contest. <laughs> Making yeah. some valid points there. Yeah, it's like when you cook things on a stove, there's a way less chance you <laughs> fuck it up. Ooh, no. I there is. You're, I just said no. you can literally burn the hell out of stuff, and they're like, "You're I, stoked." I love the I love the grill taste on it. That's there's, literally what people say. There's way less of a chance of me starting my stove on fire than the grease catching on fire in the in the grill. How, how, how many years have you been grilling, Ryan? <laughs> I'd say at least. 10. 10. 10 to 12. Yeah. How many grease fires have you been a part of? <laughs> Zero. I've been a part of one in 12 years. Mm -hmm. Me too. One. I've been, actually been enough. a part of zero. We used to grill you. inside of the porch of our conch <laughs> <house. laughs> uh, You can't get it any safer than grilling. It's outside. <laughs> you just kick the kick the flaming grill over, let it burn. No, you leave it on the you leave it on your uh landscape. Yeah. It's just it's it is tedious too, and I know you made fun of me for that, but it is. You got to go in and out and in and out. Ingredients, you got to bring it out on a fucking tray. Well, if you grill more, Tyler, you don't go in and out and in and out. You just like you kind of have an internal clock that just knows when you go in and out, and you're only going in and out two to three times. That's total. More Versus you got to stand by the fucking macaroni pot and stir it. Are you making macaroni on the grill? Oh, you can't compare no, but you're the not two. Cooking, you're not cooking brats on a frying pan. You, you can. Know? So you got to cook something else. You sure can cook brats the on a frying salt, pan. And I would agree with that is way better is just microwaving shit. I was going to say. That's want, the easy. It sounds like yeah, he just well, wants to microwave. Air frying, actually. But yes. Well, that's, wow. That's a whole different can of worms. I'm not air frying hot whole... dogs. <laughs> You I watched, what? side note, I no. watched a video oh, on the internet of a guy who just was like, I want to see what happens if I just air fry the hot dog for like 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and it, by the end, it was just like smoke barreling out of it. <laughs> One time when I was a kid, I wanted to melt some cheese for a, whatever meal I made. So a I burger just, on the grill, probably. So I just, no, so I just threw some fucking cheese sticks in a bowl. Toss him in the microwave, set it, forget it, just pressed like 10 or something, came back, and it was like the bowl had cracked. It had gotten so hot, and the <laughs> cheese had burned to the bowl. Oh. I'm starting to understand why he maybe has... Maybe you let us man the grill, Tyler. That's my goal. That's my yeah. move. If if somebody is like trying to flex their grilling prowess, which most <laughs> grillers do, I'm like, yeah, fucking here's the tongs, my guy. Take it away. <laughs> we need to get him a Traeger. He just set it, forget it. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, wire a Wi-Fi Traeger. I'm I'm all right. It's wire fire. Do you know but... they have wire fire technology? <laughs> I did. I did I, know I, that. I have a meat Tell thermometer. Me that's why uh, it's a Wi-Fi meat thermometer. 
connects yeah, to your phone. That's wire fire that's technology. That's wire fire technology. It's not, it's not Traeger, though. I'm sure Traeger has that patented, the wire fire technology. I don't know. I don't know. It don't matter. I mean, <laughs> grilling. It, <laughs> grilling, like, is the least is the most low maintenance form of cooking possible. I completely disagree. I, you literally can just take a frozen ham, the ham baguette. You don't even got to defrost that no. shit. Yeah. You toss it on the thing. You go inside. Eight minutes later, you come out, flip it once. Maybe if, if you want to toast a bun, maybe that's yeah. like the little extra work, but then yeah. you're done. You're good to go. As it's, a, that's just it's not as simple as that I mean, it has a good propane or cold taste to it, no so. it, 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 <laughs> it is re- it, it really <laughs> is that simple <laughs> then you got to worry about your burger if you're flipping it too early if you're flipping it too late well, that's just, that one side's the- gonna be charred one side's not gonna be charred then you gotta melt the cheese on it you toast the bun you get the ingredients you bring it out there you gotta bring it back inside what, to that serve is it the only annoying part about grilling is bringing stuff in and out of the house that's what, what i mean by tedious how far is your because your grill's on your patio i'm assuming it's on my deck yes so how far is the deck door from your kitchen? It's connected, right? It is about 10 paces more than <laughs> me just turning around to my stove. But what about the flavor? Yeah, the flavor. The flavor doesn't do it for me. A burger's a burger, my guy. Do they cook in burgers really? on grills at restaurants? Uh, He's my guy in me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Do you my think they grill burgers? I'm getting my guide up the yin yang right now. <laughs> do they have a grill at a restaurant where you order your favorite burger? No, they cook it on a fucking pan well, or a skillet King. or a fire. Not at Burger King, which is Ryan's favorite fast food restaurant of like all time. <laughs> Are you a big charbroiled guy? I do. He like literally King. is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Surprising. I really, like, I, and I only get it like once a year, but it's more of a treat. Yeah. <laughs> In the lax. Yep. Yep. We had to stop at BK. There was one right down the road. Oh, I fucking hate uh, BK. I mean, <laughs> they do cook them on grills, Tyler. No, they don't. It's like a flame thing. They cook it on a flat top thing. It's the uh, same as a yeah, flat like top a, grill. It's like a flamey flat top thing, though. Conveyor Have you ever seen the Applebee's thing. commercials? <laughs> no, with they're the not. Fa- with the fajitas and shit, with the fire. Yeah, in the they background? faked that shit. No. If you think if you walk into a restaurant, th- they're not. They're, they're they don't have a fucking grills. grill on the deck in the back where they're coming no, they in have, and out. They have flat top grills in the back. They also have hoods and stuff inside the restaurant to make it safe to be Ventilation. able to grill. Inside. It is a, basically a flat iron stove. Mm, it's just a pan. Not really. It's just Fast one food, giant pan. Fast food, maybe, but sit down, not so much. Yeah. Like, you oh, walk into Doolittle's, then the taste and you is see different. the rotisserie chickens, f- like, circling <laughs> around the oh, yeah. hot oak wood. <laughs> do you want a fucking frying pan chicken, or do you want a rotisserie chicken? Like, if they're putting that Are much- you rotisserieing your chickens on the grill? You no. Abso- my, our, our grills have capabilities to be able to do that. <laughs> they do. I, I haven't... Dove into it specifically, but now that we've brought uh, it to why don't light, you, why don't you Google that quick? <laughs> no, that's actually a thing. Grills have rotisserie abilities. It's yeah. a rotisserie oven. They do. Not a rotisserie grill. But if you walk into a place and they they have rotisserie chickens fucking circling around the, the <laughs> oh, open, that's an the oven. nice open flame, you can't tell me that they're just like microwaving burgers in the back. That is they not, are. No. no, they're not microwaving no. them. They're cooking them on a fucking giant I, flat stone thing that's a just flat a glorified top, it, pan. It's a flat top grill. Yeah, it's it a grill. also doesn't fucking matter because we're going for a different <laughs> flavor anyways. We're not going for a flat top <laughs> burger. We're going for a grilled burger. Yeah, and you argued with me. Your fla- the flavor is so much different. But if you go, your favorite burger is a restaurant burger, or unless your favorite burger is something you grilled at home on your porch. I do enjoy a grilled burger. I'm not saying it's my favorite. I'm not gonna go out on that limb. But so then you can't knock the flavor of burger I like that I make in the pan. I never said that, but you said that grilling in the house is way easier than grilling on a grill. Yeah, we it never knocked. We never knocked the burger in the pan. Yes, I've you done did no, many we, times. Roll the tape back. We did not knock the flavor of. The burger outside compared to inside. You did. We knocked the tediousness that you, you think it takes to. It is it, tedious. You would you agreed to the tediousness of going in and out and in and out. I literally debunked it by saying you only got to go in and out it, two or three times. No, I think what Miles agreed to is like the pressure of cooking for multiple people. No, he agreed to that it sucks going making no, all the I trips. I said in the and only out. thing that sucks is having to carry like the buns and shit outside. That's the only thing. Not the actual walking outside. Mm, the carrying is the hard part. <laughs> walking outside. Well, it's like, how many fucking hands do I got? You know, that's why you need a sued grill chef. Yeah. ACH. Yeah. I will hand that shit off to you two whenever you want it. Well, we weren't going to let you grill anyway, <laughs> so. 
<laughs> no, I want a f- grilled burger by you. All right, you get a fucking hockey puck and you'll enjoy it. At least it'll have that good grill flavor. Well, at least I won't get no, sick from you it. know what happened? I know what happened. <laughs> what? This is scar tissue is what this <laughs> is. <laughs> Tyler grilled for a big party one time. <laughs> he got the burgers a little too well done. Got a lot of shit for it. Yeah. Then did the classic when someone starts attacking you, you get pissed at them for attacking you. You throw a little temper tantrum and say like, why don't you just fucking cook them next time? And then stormed <laughs> off. And he's like, vowed ever it. since then, he's not Mm-mm. cooking on the hasn't grill. Touched it since. Yeah, hasn't hasn't nope. even looked at a grill. Never had a When he complaint. moved out of his last condo, he just left the grill on the deck. Tyler, He's like, a- I don't even want it at <laughs> my next house. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a grill. You know, he, he put it in the back of his truck and didn't strap it down and it just came rolling out the back and just said, I'm not going back for it. If that would have happened, I would have left it. I know you would have. Uh, Bad experience. There's a grill sitting right inside the entrance of the building. I have a grill, have you, Ryan. No, have you seen He's it? He's been though? avoiding yeah, it. Yeah, he spits I know, on have it you, every have day. You seen it? Yeah, it frustrates me every time I walk by it. I was like, I can't believe what garbage has been cooked on this. Uh, excuse me? You heard me. The garbage? You heard me, Ryan. You're the one cooking garbage I mean, on grills. Let's just like I cook it on the, the stove. Oh, you're thing. not? Oh, okay. You you don't even want just a grilled brat? No. This is... Why the I fuck? prefer my brats roll. Hey, why the fuck yeah. do we keep doing these segments? <laughs> we just get Last mad. one, we just got pissed at each other. No, now you only pissed. get pissed when I come up with stuff. I brought up diffusers. This is, no, I this agreed is... with you on the diffusers. Yeah, thing. yeah. you and I. Yeah. No, hey, he's doing what he did after he did had a bad cookout. He's starting to get mad at me for it. <laughs> he's turning. Yeah. We'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. No, I don't want it. No, we'll give you one chance. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't want it. Where do we go from here? You also just got to pick <laughs> pick a topic that we all probably are going to agree on. You you knew going into this, you literally said mm-hmm. it. This is going mm-hmm. to be controversial, and then is surprised when it's I'm controversial. Not. I didn't say that. Ryan <laughs> said that it was going to be controversial. Uh, I just went out and said it. I know. No, well, you, I did. So you said something about like maybe I, I won't even say mine now. Yeah, cause after yeah. you brought up your con, you said this is going to be controversial. I'm like shit, I don't want to say mine because you need to be controversial. I knew I would get attacked, yes, but I was willing, so, to, ready to defend myself. Let me ask this. When you go to a restaurant, do you tell them that you want your burger cooked <laughs> in the, the microwave or on the grill that you I tell use? them that I want them to cook it on their no flat stone ground. pan. No fucking middle ground. Just do you want it cooked out by just solar heat? <laughs> Or do you want it? Do you want it cooked on the hood of my car? <laughs> it's fucking hot out today, dude. Or do no, you want it cooked on a grill? I tell them There's that. There's no I, other option. I tell them I want them to be so inconvenienced. I want them to walk back in and in and out, in and out with every ingredient uh, over and over. Design restaurants so works. the the grill is inside, <laughs> right. Tyler. It's not a grill though. Yes, it's, it's not the same. It's, it's not a the flat top grill. It's not the same as what we're yes, talking about. What we're talking about are grills with fucking grates, Jared. They have. We're that. talking about the <laughs> flat fucking stone top. They turn it on. It gets hot, and that's what they cook the fucking burger I on. Get that, but they they do it. It's that not way. the same. <laughs> it, literally it literally is though. It's not. It's not even it fucking close. Then you would have the flat top Hold on the side. We're not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I I gotta unplug this diffuser. Look what it's doing to Tyler. I'm fucking fired up now. I got I got it flying at me from all fronts. What did I tell you? Essential oils are bad for you. Look at Tyler right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Tyler. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> I was listening. I was... <laughs> just screaming. It's uh, it's pretty much the same. Jared. It is. They have Jared. <laughs> Jared. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's not. It is though. I worked at a fucking restaurant. <laughs> It's not the same thing as the grill you have on your deck. It is, though. They no, it crazy. isn't. They just have are a good technology. We, is there like a full moon tonight? Why was everyone acting so strange? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking... 
What? <laughs> what's your what's your horoscope? I have no idea. <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius are. <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> assume it. <laughs> it's like the only one I know other than yeah. my own. It's fun to say. Uh, <sighs> no. Nah. Pisces, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Venus. Is that one of them? That's a planet. <laughs> I know oh. that. <laughs> oh. Uranus. So no matter how this all. <laughs> Cheap joke. Oh, your horoscope must be Uranus. Uh, I mean, <sighs> Tyler. Miles. We respect your opinion. <laughs> we had to argue a little bit mm -hmm. with you. We did get you. This is like an episode of the show Boiling Points. Do you remember that show? Where people, they would just do annoying stuff until the person just freaked out and couldn't take it anymore. We, we got, got there. We got to the boiling point. We got point. there. <laughs> oh, my, my stomach muscles are yeah, right point. on cramping. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were we were sure grilling each other on that segment. <laughs> I tell you what, though, that conversation was on fire. I tell you what, though. <laughs> what do you say we uh, flip to a different side of the of the conversation? <laughs> I think Jared still has to give yeah, one. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't think we can take any more. It's not that bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine is cigars. I just can't get into that. That's fair. <laughs> you fucking coward! Oh my fucking God, Jared! Cigars are the same thing as what you do every day! It's the same! Cigars are the same as cigarettes! And you smoke cigarettes you every day! You love cigarettes! Oh, and right now it's the same! <laughs> Would you rather... Burn a leave and eat it, or would you rather have a cigar? Seriously, Jared. <laughs> oh, I can't do it anymore. It's a lavender, dude. It's a lavender. Fucking, <laughs> this is like we got to get rid of. Do you that remember diffuser. the episode of the Brady Bunch when no. they get the like tiki <laughs> totem, and it's like causes bad luck with everyone in the entire family? It's that's this fucking diffuser. We got juju's out. all off. Oh my god. Also, I can respect that. <laughs> <laughs> you had to see. I fucking hate, I hate it here. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Down. I'm gonna go back to the news. No, honestly, I fall in and out of love of cigars. You know, it's uh, it's one of those. Th I don't know why I'm trying to act like we're doing this serious the rest of the way. I just, I mean, no cigars. Like some days you're feeling them, some days you don't want to deal with the black lung that you're gonna have the next day. Um, well, not even that. It's more so your mouth, mouth taste. Right. It's got a bad mouth feel. So I get that. Um, There's probably one thing like I've never had a great cigar, like a high quality yeah. one. Again, the snobbery. Well, it's probably because you've never had a good cigar. Yeah, yeah. it's probably like that. But yeah. I, can, I just can't get into them. I don't. I don't like them. Sure. They're too much. I can't. I can't I got focus enough. on this conversation. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta go grill some stuff. Time out. <laughs> We need to mark this day down, April 19th, 2022, the day we finally broke Tyler. <laughs> the day he finally blew a gasket. Yep. Ooh. Took a long, uh, took nice. over 100 episodes. I mean, this episode oh, yeah. was an absolute grease fire. <laughs> nope. Don't have those. Those are bad. Uh... <laughs> I can't. This is no recovery. I can't continue. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a group hug after this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right going over. home. No, I'm coming right over. Girly to things this. I love. Group hugs. Group. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. We're I'm coming right me. over to yeah. you. This is done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are. I got a fucking grill fire lit up under my ass. I right can now. tell he's doing like I could. That's why during when he was talking, I wasn't even looking at him because I knew his eyes are so piercing. <laughs> you have very piercing eyes when you're angry. Very intense. You got to be able to just give your kid one look and he goes crying. He knows. Yeah, really? I, mm -hmm. I feel that. I got to get that look. 
<sighs> He's never inspired such rage in me yet, though. Oh, so we're one of a kind. You are. You guys are. I didn't know that would <laughs> fire you up that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what kind of are you propane, mm. charcoal? <laughs> um, I'm more of a gas stove guy. <laughs> gas if that stove. isn't apparent I, yet. Yeah. I, of all things that have, would have triggered you, I didn't think this would be the one. <laughs> no, it wasn't. To be it wasn't your guys differing. It was the the, the relentless berating. Sure. That that that, that and burned I don't know, the fuse down quick. <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, I don't know why that happened. Because it was. I don't think it was that bad. It was nonstop. <laughs> no, but I, yeah, and I don't know why it was nonstop. Well, you're just me either, like Ryan. I don't know either. Why? You tell me, Tyler. This is also a podcast. What we're supposed to do is chat, and that's what we were doing. Yeah, we yeah. didn't chat about any. Others. Sorry, they were a little chatty, Kathy today. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, <laughs> also. Pretty manly of us to get that worked up about grills. <laughs> True. Yeah. So kudos yeah, to yeah, us on being manly. Yeah. Yeah. Also, update on uh, how well <laughs> our update on how well our uh, segment for the female listeners to grow our female audience. We went from eighty eight percent to eighty nine percent males. <laughs> so it actually Shit. worked in reverse. It, it, We're it, like Benjamin Button. No, 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 no. For, so this is what happened. Viewership, total viewership went up. And all of the oh, females yeah. that listen told we, the males to come listen. Uh, yeah, uh, it was like a... Uh, they were branching out. Spin yes. zone. Yes. Double, we doubled our listeners yep. from that segment, but just, just a few more men listened. That's mm -hmm. what happened. Yep. Yeah. So our, our female audience is maybe double, triple now, but our male audience is also bigger, so... They quadrupled. Yeah. Uh, I just hate... I just hate the growth that we're mm -hmm. doing. I'm just trying to get more female <laughs> listeners into this podcast. But uh, I have a splitting headache <laughs> from laughing so hard. I do too. I can't continue. Uh, the last half of that argument, I have no idea what Tyler said. <laughs> I don't either. I would, did you? I would, did you try? I was trying to listen. Because even Jared were going at it. For a bit. Did you try, try and use the argument of a rotisserie chicken? He did. He did. <laughs> Which is absolutely nothing to do with That's what we were talking so about. so smart. You can't rotisserie so chicken on a frying pan. No. What do you do? You just like, you spin it by hand? You like stick a spin No, you in rotisserie hand? chickens in the oven. It's no. called a rotisserie oven. Well, no, it's a wood-fired oven. Yeah, that's a different type of chicken. We're talking about rotisserie similar. chickens. The why I use as as an example was because if they're taking that good of care of their chickens, they're going to take that good of care of their Yeah, on their the gas back. range grill. Grill. Which is a giant fucking pan. <clears throat> what is your oven? You have a gas range oven. You have a gas range stove. A gas range grill is the same fucking thing except no burners. Well, you actually make a good point. I'd be into to grilling inside like you're talking about if you just eliminate the frying pan and you just set it right on the flames. It's actually kind of like... That's what a grill is. Uh, Smoke is the issue. A griddle. Got a hood. It's actually a lot mm -hmm. like a griddle. Also not a fan. Me either. Yeah. Griddles oh. are annoying. Hmm. I'm a flat top. <laughs> hard, to, hard to wash. Yeah. Griddles do suck to wash. Can you get water in the electrical part? Can you not? No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. That's a, that's a great point by you, Tyler. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Tyler. guys. I needed one. Nice job. <laughs> Thanks. Oops. Are you good now? Are you I okay? I haven't decided. I th I feel like we're doing a good do job diffusing this so we don't get... You want to fucking bring that over here? <laughs> you guys have had it the whole time. Uh, <laughs> what over here? The diffuser. No, I think it's messing everyone up. I think it's you know, the I whole I genuinely room. think it is. It hasn't reached me yet. <laughs> Hold on. This doesn't say lavender. This this flavor is rage. <laughs> I think it's doing the opposite of what you guys said. Uh, purple rage. <laughs> purple thunder. And you had a sip thunder. of purple thunder, and now you're off. It the was the it was the purple thunder. It was the exchange. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, I got I'm, my hands are so sticky. You know, you mix like alcohol with certain drugs, and like it's <laughs> deathly. I think Mountain Dew Purple Thunder and Lavender Diffusion is it's not a great combo. Too many shades of it's purple. Combust yeah. It's it's combustive like Nos. Yeah. Oil and water. Yeah. yeah. Vinegar and oil. Like a grease fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not fan the flame anymore. <laughs> let's get this off the burner here. And let's uh, well, no, move maybe on. we'll put this conversation on the back, back burner. burner. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that one you have to like because you love back burners. I do. Yeah. I do. You can't do that on a grill. Uh, it's all the same burner. All right. Well, um, yeah, so how did, did that go? Like you There's thought? no front and back, Jared. There's a top, though. Like they're, you know, <laughs> That is for they, fucking hey, hey, resting hey, things. They do have side burners for like beans and shit on yeah, some grills. Do. They, yes, they, is it a back burner that's a no, or a side burner? That's a novelty. Burner. That's a novelty grill, though. It depends on which side of the grill you're standing on. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we need a hug. All right. <laughs> we need to hug this out, guys. If you're listening, I want you to give Tyler virtual hugs. I want I you don't to want him. comment on every single one of his posts saying, <laughs> "What we grilling?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking fight Jared after this. No, just give him a virtual hug in all of his comment section. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it. Plus, we're also kind of hard on you. You just had a kid. A little cranky. Yeah. Uh, sleepless nights. Hey, T's back up. Yeah, we could feel that oh, today. Oh, yeah. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. We could hey. feel that. Mm-hmm. Hey, I think... I think that us spiking his drinks with Nugenics is starting to work. <laughs> This is a good bit. You're into the, into the mic. <laughs> he, he thought that was whiskey. <laughs> Liquid Nugenics. <laughs> Come to a store near you. Uh, I got to be down here. We got to get the hell out of here. We, hey. No. What do you guys want to do no. this weekend? Maybe come for a cookout? <laughs> Tyler, you're invited. I'll even let you grill if you want. Uh, it's okay. You got it. Maybe we'll just walk you through the steps. I just, I don't, I, you probably just don't even understand the process yet. I know the steps. You know, people people throw rocks at things that they don't understand. You know, they, uh, yeah. You can have you quit throwing rocks at cars. If anyone wants to send, t- no, that's too far, Miles. I'll say it anyways. No, I won't. <laughs> If anyone wants to send Tyler the Grilling for Dummies book, just <laughs> let us know where to send no, it. No, Grilling for Groups. That's his only group. It's a group grilling. I don't like Grilling for myself either. I already talked about that, Ryan. I just don't like That grilling. got lost in the mix, Tyler. I don't remember what we even talked about besides rotisserie chickens. That's about the only thing I remember in that whole conversation. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. Can you imagine Tyler's just holding? It's like he's got a chicken on a fucking stick, and he's got the gas range going, and he's just slowly spinning it by himself over it to get the rotisserie chicken because he can't do it outside. We'll they, they make good. rotisserie ovens, guys. I they already also, brought this up. Do you have a rotisserie oven? I do. What does that do? Have I made a rotisserie chicken on it? No, I got it as a white elephant gift. What does that so do? So time out. Like, you, how you big is this thing? It's the size of a like. It's like a, looks like a microwave, a little bit bigger than a microwave. Oh yeah. Put the chicken so on I a stick. A stick it in there. So is it just a plug-in? Yeah. So we could uh, we could do a rotisserie chicken during the podcast <laughs> sure next can. week. Fuck yeah. We just got to find a whole chicken somewhere. You I mean, got that pheasant. You got that rotisserie pheasant. Yeah, you could do a rotisserie How about pheasant. Can we do a rotisserie rabbit? I got one in my backyard. That nah, would actually be well, decent. It's still alive. Kill not, it first. Not for long. <sighs> we should do a rotisserie chicken on the pod. That would be good. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Maybe we can grill some stuff after. <laughs> Bronco. I... I now I'm all of those grilling videos that we did. I hated every second I, I didn't, of it. I didn't know that Tyler was just fuming yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah, mm-hmm. we did though at my house on my deck on my grill. Remember that? Yeah, we did it there. It yeah, was, it was fun. I had a great time. Couldn't have been more miserable. That's one of my favorite videos. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> Uh, clearly it was <laughs> despite Tyler. I mean, it was a great video because he was Do you like Traeger grills? No. Do you like name a grill Coleman's? I don't like I don't like it. What about what about the like grills that go in your mouth? Ooh, can't what stand about them. the grill on your truck? Ooh. Don't like it. I wish it was closed. <laughs> I don't that understand about engine. cars. It's probably important, but I wish it was closed. Yeah, that's how it cool. That's it. actually how they get That's the, the twin same. Actually, the grill tanks. in my truck is the exact same as the one at a restaurant, if you didn't know that. That's not true. But no, neither is the other thing Jared said. But all right, well, glad we diffused the situation. Mm-hmm. It's diffused. Yeah, okay. don't want that to escalate ever again. R.I.P. But I can't believe that. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this. 
<laughs> Fiery episode. <laughs> Wait, nothing? Yeah, Not this flamethrower of an episode. <laughs> Flame grilled episode. <laughs> All you can think about is Burger King now. <laughs> Looks hungry. Guys, Get thanks up. for tuning in. Um, as always, uh, go to patreon.com slash you bet your radio. Uh, we're doing one episode a week on yep. the Patreon for subscribers over that, uh, 15 hours of content 15 episodes we've done now yep. and Plus uh more. so if you want an extra episode a week lowest lowest uh spot is just five bucks a month yep. you get four episodes a month so that's one dollar and 25 cents per episode it's all it costs um if not that's cool too we'll be doing this every week you know we keep doing this and uh yeah we'll be back next week Guys, may your burgers be grilled (laughs) and your chickens be rotisserie. (laughs) Cheers, Ryan. (laughs) Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's on fire. Wow.